strikes are coming. Oh! Hey guys, Nate Paulboat here from In Between Media coming at you with a short episode of The Middle. I just wanted to touch on everything that's going on in free agency right now because I've seen a lot of overreaction to some of these moves. Something I always think about when these things happen is there's always a need for value at every position for every team. You need players in the event that your stud running back like James Robinson in Jacksonville gets hurt, you want a good quality backup that's going to be able to take that team and like fill in where James Robinson left off. Do I care that Carlos Hyde signed in Jacksonville? Not at all. And it's not going to affect the way that I look at James Robinson. Similarly, same team. I'm really not worried about Marvin Jones taking away targets from guys like DJ Chark or LaVisca Chenault. I'm a little concerned about Colin Johnson because now you're talking about your fourth deep wide receiver that I personally was hoping to see a breakout from might not happen this year. Marvin Jones is on a two year deal. There's a really good chance that he's gone after this 2021 season. I wouldn't sell Colin Johnson right now. If you have the room on your bench to stash him, I just feel like that would be a gross overreaction. I think my big message here is don't overreact. Gigi Smith Schuster going back to Pittsburgh. A lot of people are freaking out about their shares of guys like Chase Claypool and Deontay Johnson. I wouldn't. There's plenty of targets to spread it out in that offense. Ben Roethlisberger likes to sling the ball. He's obviously sticking around for one more season. Probably a big factor in Juju coming back. And I think that you can be confident in Claypool. You can be confident in Deontay Johnson and holding on to them. There's a tendency in life to overreact to things. I think that that translates into fantasy football. Um, I'm not worried about the Jamal Williams signing affecting DeAndre Swift. DeAndre Swift is going to ball out no matter what. Cream rises to the top. Talent always, always wins. Some of these moves, they might have some impact come season time. But right now, we're only in March, guys. Free agency just started. There are a lot more moves to be made. And I'm going to tell you, hang tight for now. And let's wait and see what happens with some of these players. There might be other moves going on. We might see some guys get released. You might see some guys get traded. Um, I've heard rumors that it's possible that the Bears might have signed Andy Dalton to deal him to Seattle because Seattle kind of likes Andy Dalton for some weird reason. I'm also not panicking about the wide receiver situation as much as I was last night in Chicago. If they get Galladay, they've got Allen Robinson and Darnell Mooney. I think those three guys would hold very, very similar value this coming season to what they did last season. And their value could skyrocket because again, we don't know what's going to happen. It's only March. So kind of temper your fears about this stuff and don't worry about it so much. Find value where you can find value. If you're looking to make some trades, I know there are a lot of drafts going on right now for startups and think about these moves when you're making those picks, but also don't panic. I know I've said that like 40 times, but I really want to hammer it in. Don't panic. Everything's going to be fine. Most of these guys aren't going to lose their value. AJ Dillon is another guy people are panicking about because the Packers re-signed Aaron Jones. In my opinion, it really doesn't affect AJ Dillon in Dynasty. Aaron Jones isn't going to be there for the next five years. AJ Dillon is young. If you've got the space on your bench to hold him, hold him. He's probably going to be their goal line back. I'm more concerned about Aaron Jones' value and the fact that he's not going to be getting those carries from the three, four, five, six yard line that Dillon can just punch in. Don't forget, thick thighs save lives. So in summation, just keep your cool. Don't worry about all this stuff going on right now. It's so early in free agency and so early in the league year. So many things are going to happen moving forward. I'll touch a little bit more on all this free agency madness in my column, Family Football and this Adventure We Call Life, in my new series, Decoding Dynasty, that comes out on Monday. So much like there's been a flurry of activity in free agency here in the first four days of the league year, three days of the league year, there's a lot going on in the world right now. A lot of vitriol and a lot of hate and anger, but also a lot of love. I want to leave you with this parting thought. There's nothing you can do about the vitriol and the anger or what anybody else is doing right now in this world. People are going to be mean. They're going to be nasty. They might cut you off in traffic, but what you do have control over is yourself. You don't have to react to these people. You don't have to give them what they want, which is a reaction. 
go about your day, smile, be happy. We'll catch you next time on The Middle. We'll be right back.